I've had this place since I was pregnant with Mingus actually. I came to look at it when he was in my belly and that means 21, 22 years. I was living in Paris and then New York and wanted an escape in Denmark I could go to whenever I was here and also a nature place for my son. I wanted to keep the feeling of everything is integrated with the ocean, with the beach, with the sand, with the rosehip bushes outside. The weather elements are quite uh, powerful here. The fact that everything is blowing and everything is windy and alive, that's the feeling I sort of wanted. There's a lot of um, nature objects in my house, a lot of rocks. I'm uh, quite into rocks. I really uh, collect uh, rocks everywhere I go. Whenever I take a walk on the beach, I bring some up with me. This house in particular has a lot of um, old furniture pieces and I bought most of them in nearby antique stores. Uh, so it's been really interesting to furnish it and quite sparsely compared to my other place. There are actually also some pieces here from my very first apartment in Paris. In fact, the bed I'm sitting on right now, I've had that since I was in my early 20s. I'm here all summer, um, every year. To jump in the ocean every day is such a beautiful luxury. I mean, that's what luxury is to me. That's, that's really something I am incredibly grateful for. When I'm up here, I, I do the same thing every day. I get up in the morning, I make coffee, and I put on my swimsuit immediately. That's most days the only thing I wear. And then I take my dog and the coffee down to the beach and we hang out there for, you know, a long time. All day long, I'm up and down from the beach and I would say I'm in the water probably 50% of the day. <laughs> Every day I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go down for one last swim. And then suddenly it's midnight and I still see people out there. It makes me feel so happy when I see that.